What? Good morning, Krusty Crew. Yeah. She's back, baby. How are we doing this morning, Krusty Crew? Welcome back, Tube Nation. It's been so long. Happy New Year. Can I still say that? We're on the brink of February, but I haven't seen you guys since December. It's been too long, but you know what? We're back and guess where we're going, baby! Guess where we're going? Take a wild guess. We're going to McDonald's. <coughs> we're going to McDonald's. Woo! This is gonna be, no, you go ahead the fuck this is a new segment i like to call come watch me eat an egg mcmuffin while i scream about something embarrassing and terrible that's happened to me mind you it is 7 46 in the morning and i haven't slept because i've been thinking about this situation non-stop and i haven't been able to sleep okay so i'm just gonna get up and do my makeup at four in the morning and get a sausage egg mcmuffin and scream at you guys <laughs> Okay, I'm in the drive-thru. I am so ready for this Egg McMuffin, y'all. I'm gonna order three because I can't have the buns because there's gluten in them, which is really annoying because I really want to enjoy some juicy bread on my McMuffin, but I can't. My life is just really difficult. How do my eyes look right now in the sun? Oh my God. <laughs> How do my eyes look? Oh my God, I can't even see the, f I can't even see the screen. The guy in front of me probably thinks I'm having a stroke or something. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. I'm blind. Should I get a coffee? I'm already wired and jittery anyway. Do I need a coffee? Nah. Do I want a coffee? Yeah. I'm gonna get a coffee. Ignore my squeaky brakes. I need to get my car fixed. It's so embarrassing. Ooh. Hi, um, could I get three sausage and egg McMuffins? Could I just get a large hot coffee? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm next, I'm next, I'm next! Oh my God. Ooh, sorry. Large coffee, right? Yeah. Okay, 12 Any ketchup? Um, no, that's okay. Thank okay. you. Hello, have a good day. Awesome, thank you, you too. You're Okay, just take my spot. Awesome, cool. Where am I gonna park now? <gasps> Do not run into me, bitch. Your body lie away. You know what I don't understand about that song? This is not an unpopular opinion whatsoever. I'm sure many people think this. But in that song it goes, your body lightweight speaks to me? Um, huh? Your body lightweight speaks to me? Wouldn't it make more sense if it was like, your body language? But you know what I'm saying? He goes, your body lie, wait. He could have been like, your body language speaks to That makes more sense, because you're saying speaks to me, body language. Language speaking? Your body lightweight speaks to me. How does that make sense? I don't get it. And whenever I sing that song, I want to go, your body language, language. Like, how did you not think about that? Okay, while I'm trying to find parking, yes, this video is just me sitting in my car. It's a mukbang, mukbang. I don't, f I'm just gonna talk about something that happened to me and I don't know what to do about it. So while I'm trying to find parking, we do have a sponsor today, so take it away, Sarah. All right, y'all, today's sponsor is Upside. The thing about me is I love getting my nails done, but it can get super expensive. If you get your nails done frequently, then you know that. That's why I have to tell you about my new way to save, and that is Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody that buys gas, like myself, buy groceries, or like to dine out. I get cash back on every purchase that I can use to fund my nails and to fund my gas. It's basically cash back for just doing you and just living life. How exciting. And thanks to Upside, you don't have to worry about cutting back. I personally use Upside the most on gas though, because if you're in California, you know that the gas prices are just astronomical and it's really annoying. It makes me crazy. And I've been using Upside for a few months now and I've been saving so much money. 
It's not even funny. Like for real. That did rhyme, but like for real. My bank account is happy, my wallet is happy, and my soul is happy. So to get started, download the free Upside app, use my promo code SARABASKA, pretty hard to forget, and get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. I got you. You can download it in the App Store or Google Play, and the Upside app is very simple to use, okay? Even your parents can figure it out. Heck, your grandparents. All you gotta do is claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside, and then you check in at the business, and then you pay as usual with a debit or credit card, and then you get paid. You get money. And you can cash out at any time to your bank, to your PayPal, or you can get an e-gift card to Amazon and many other brands. And in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. Plus, Upside doesn't sell any of your personal information to third parties, so you don't have to worry about it. You're safe. They know that your information is a very vital part of building a relationship with you. Upside users are earning hundreds of dollars a year. That's probably why they have a 4.8 rating on the App Store. Just saying. Thank you so much Upside for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Okay, it took me two years to find a parking spot, but I found one in some random neighborhood parked in front of some random person's house. So we'll see if they come outside and tackle me. But let's eat this freaking McDonald's and talk about our feelings. First of all, how are you guys doing? It's a new year. And honestly, I haven't made a video because my new year has been so chaotic. <sighs> and I haven't really been in the right mental space to film it just because I've been <sighs> working out all these kinks in my life. So wait, this is my Egg McMuffin. Gotta take the, the best part off of it. So it's literally just a slab of meat and egg in my hands. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just splashing my eyes. Okay, again. Hey, let's not, let's not splash in my eyes. Ah! Ugh. Hot! New Year's was really fun. It was cute. It was not really wholesome. I went to Vegas. So you guys already know how that goes. The highlight of my entire New Year's Vegas trip though, I went with Caitlin, of course. We're always there. So many people think that I live in Vegas. Like I get so many DMs from y'all and you're like, Sarah, what part of Vegas do you live in? Cause I'm there all the time. But we went on the little gondola ride. So they have like this little gondola thing, actual water, actual boat ride. And it was so peaceful. We woke up on January 1st. We were so hungover. We were debating. We we're like, should we stay in bed all day in the dark in this hotel room? But then we're like, no, this is not how we're starting the new year, okay? It's January 1st. We need to get our asses up and we need to go on a gondola ride, okay? And my God, it was the best way to kick off the new year. Just sitting in this beautiful boat ride and you have two options. You can either just go by yourself and with the person that you're with, just you guys. But that shit was so expensive. Or we can share the gondola ride with another couple. And we're like, that'd be funny. Just with two random strangers. So we hop in this boat, our gondola guy. What do you even call those guys? A gondola guy? I feel like there's a word for it. He was exquisite, okay? And they sing to you. He's just singing beautiful Frank Sinatra in your ears. And then just beautiful Italian music. And they have amazing voices. The people in front of us, we thought they were a couple. And I like leaned over to them because they were being really quiet. They weren't really talking. We just wanted to make conversation with them because we're sharing a gondola with them. So I was like, how long have you guys been together? You guys are so cute. They look at each other and they start laughing. And I'm like, okay, I'll just go fuck myself. And then they're like, we're brother and sister. And I'm like, ah, totally, 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 totally. After they said that, they did not talk to us for the rest of the time, which whatever. They were probably hung over too, honestly. We were just all hung over in this gondola. We went to the gift shop because they like take pictures of you so you can go to the gift shop and buy those pictures. Of course we bought the pictures. And mind you, I was telling Caitlin that I felt really uncomfortable at night. Can you not? I feel really uncomfortable when I don't have a stuffed animal to sleep with. And I usually bring moosely with me on my trips. And this is the first time I forgot moosely. And I'm in this gift shop, bitch. And guess what I see? 
Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? I was like, I have to cop. I have to cop. It was pretty expensive. And I was like, why is this shit so expensive? And I found out why that night, because I almost had a heart attack in my bed, cuddling this man, his name's Antonio but we call him Lil Tony for short. So I'm cuddling with Lil Tony and I'm like about to fall asleep. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, I finally have a stuffed animal. This close to falling asleep and all of a sudden I just hear. <laughs> and there's someone walking by me right now. <laughs> anyway. Come on, little Tony. You're kidding, right? But that woke me. <laughs> I literally like jumped because I was like, what the fuck? This thing can sing? Beautiful singing voice, Antonio. Imagine this in the middle of the night. Me and Caitlin were like, what the fuck, Tony? That's just what makes little Tony so much better. I bring little Tony everywhere with me. So everyone say hi to Tony. We also brought in the new year at Lil John's set and he came out right before midnight and he's on the mic and he goes, 10, nine, six, yeah, five, three, two. And then he's like, Happy motherfucking new year! Yeah! And oh my god. Oh my god, it was the best. And then literally right after that, confetti turned down for what? It was oh my god. Happy fucking new year! Turn down for what? I get chills just thinking about that. The perfect person for a New Year's countdown. That's and I just spilled Tapatio on my sweatshirt. Cool. So yeah, that was fantastic. So anyway, the real reason why we're here, I need to tell you about what just happened to me the other day. I can't stop thinking about it. And you know what? They might be watching this video, but if you're watching this, that was fucking awkward. And you know it too. Mmm. 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 Woo! I gotta get ready for this one. Ugh. Okay, so let me set the scene. I get back from Vegas and I'm depleted. Vegas took all of my juices out of me. I felt so unhealthy. And then I did the whole classic cliche thing like, new year, new me, I'm gonna get a gym membership. I'm gonna build some healthy habits and I'm gonna go to the gym every freaking day. I'm gonna become a gym girly. Why haven't I started my gym era yet? I don't know. I think I've just always been so intimidated by the gym. I didn't have the balls to like get that rolling. But now I'm just like, fuck it. I need to get up and go to the gym every day because I know that when I used to do that, I felt better about myself. Who knew? Who knew that that actually works? I feel like I like discovered the secret. I'm like, you guys, stop being depressed. Stop being anxious. It's really that simple. Move your body. I'm kidding. It has been helping and I knew that it would help. So I got a gym membership, right? I'm feeling so good about myself. I'm like, yes, bitch. The hardest thing is just going, right? And walking inside of the gym. And this might sound really pathetic, I don't know, maybe y'all can relate to this. It takes me a while to like warm up to environments. So the first day that I have my gym membership, I just drove there. I just literally go, okay. I drove to the gym and just parked in the parking lot and looked at it. I didn't go inside. It's like exposure therapy in a way. Then the next day, I literally had to like take deep breaths. Breathing in my car, I'm like, Sarah, just like walk inside. You can turn around and walk back to your car, just walk inside. But then once I walked inside and I realized that it wasn't that scary, it was pretty simple. I was like, am I gonna know how to check in? Am I gonna know where the girls' locker room is? But once I walked inside, super easy. And I'm like, okay, Sarah, just get on the treadmill. And I was feeling really good. And every single day I would like push myself a little bit more, just ease myself into it. And then I would set my phone up, watch Love Island. That passed the time. And I was like, this is nice. I'm liking this. A few days ago, I was like working all day. And then I go to the gym at 8 p.m. And I'm like, this is serene. There's not that many people here. I kind of like going to the gym at night. I got too cocky. The next day, 
I was busy all day, didn't have time to go to the gym, but I'm like, I'll just go at night again. That was, that was chill. But for some reason, I had a very like strange, overwhelming feeling while I was getting ready for the gym that night that something like ominous was in the air. I felt really strange. I felt like a little anxiety, like my tummy was kind of churning. And I'm like, I'm gonna wear like a hoodie and then I'm gonna put my hood on while I'm working out this time didn't do that any of the other days. And I'm on the treadmill watching Love Island with my hood on. I set the incline a little bit higher. So I was huffing and puffing, bitch. I was so sweaty doing my thing. No cares in the world, right? There's a whole row of treadmills. I'm the only one on one. And then all of a sudden in my peripheral, I see two people get on the treadmills to my left, okay? There's one treadmill in between me and these two people. And I don't have my glasses on, I have really terrible eyes. So everything is just kind of blurry. And I look over to my left and who got on the treadmills next to me? And who is it? Who is it? <laughs> who is it? Remember a few story times ago, like two videos ago, where I talked about the guy that I was dating, Cameron. I know I used the name Cameron for two different scenarios. The security guard Cameron, it wasn't security guard Cameron. It was the other Cameron who we have history with, we dated, has a new girlfriend now and cut me off, which is fine, I get it but his girlfriend hates me. And me and Cameron had a really uncomfortable situation happen to us a few weeks prior where we almost had to block each other's numbers, right? So I have been on edge about seeing Cameron just out and about. Cause I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck I would do if I saw Cameron just out and about. It would be terrifyingly awkward because of how shit ended it was really messy it was really intense i'm not gonna get into it but messy messy city and i look over and it's cameron and his girlfriend who hates me and i don't know if they saw me because I had my hood on, right? Like, since I'm already paranoid about seeing Cameron out and about anyway, I was looking at this guy and I'm like, am I just seeing shit? Like, I can't tell if, if I'm just like imagining that that's him and it's not really him or if that's him. And then once my eyes adjusted and I looked at what he was wearing and I recognized his outfit, I was like, oh, bitch. And I looked at the girl next to Cameron and I realized that that was Cameron's girlfriend who literally hates my guts. I think, allegedly. I don't know if she hates me, but boundaries had to be set, right? <laughs> ah! And I don't know if they knew it was me because my hood was on. We have so much history. He's, he knows what I wear. He knows that I wore those sweatpants all the time. They were very unique sweatpants, right? Did he know that that was me, but he didn't want to like say anything to his girlfriend because he didn't want his girlfriend to freak the fuck out that that was me? Was he just ignoring that completely so he could get through his workout and not get yelled at? And so was he just like thinking that we were gonna walk side by side on these treadmills right next to each other and I wouldn't notice him. Once I realized my heart dropped to my asshole, I said this out loud. They had to have heard it. I said, oh, hell no. I grab my phone off of the treadmill and I hop off the treadmill. And I left it going. I like left the treadmill on. I was, in, I was in such fight or flight that I didn't even have enough bandwidth or capacity to press the red stop button. I just jumped off dramatically. And they had to have seen that. It was so dramatic and sudden and weird. <laughs> and I was the only other person on the treadmills and I was right next to them. If the girlfriend didn't know that was me, she probably looked over and was like, what the fuck? Cause I hopped off let the treadmill ride out, and I ran to the locker room. Like, I, I started running to the locker room while my treadmill is still going right next to them. Obviously, something's fishy. Obviously, that's suspicious. What? And if they didn't notice me then, they notice me now. And I book it to the girl's locker room, 
I sit down, I'm just like breathing really heavy. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. Like not only was that them, I just left that situation in the worst possible way. <laughs> I'm like, I really left the treadmill on. There's nobody coming to turn it off. So they just have to like continue their workout with a treadmill next to them going. That's terrifying energy. I was like, what the fuck do I do? I was like, I have to leave. I was like, do I just sit here and wait till they leave? But I'm like, no, cause she's gonna come in here and get her shit. So I gotta, I gotta leave now. But the problem is the only exit route to leave that gym is walking right in front of them. They're gonna be facing me and I have to walk in front of their treadmills to leave. I have my ridiculous backpack and Cameron knows this is my backpack because I wear this every fucking day and it's so ridiculous. Like you can't miss it. You can't miss me. Like in my crazy sweatpants that he's seen me wear a million times. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was like, I thought that I was doing something so great for myself by going to this gym every day. No, of course. Of course Cameron goes to that gym with his girlfriend! No! You have to be lying. Just when I got comfortable at this gym, now I am violently uncomfortable. Are you kidding me, Cameron? Are you kidding me, Cameron? What do I do? I get my shit, take a few deep breaths, pull up my screen, my hood's on, cause I knew that something bad was gonna happen that night. I just knew it. Mm, I almost just went in a t-shirt, but I'm like, no, I just need to, I feel like I need protection today. So I walk out of the girls' locker room and I walk right in front of them and I feel Cameron's eyes. I walk out the gym and then I have to walk by these huge ass windows in order to get to my car. Treadmills are right there, looking out the windows. So I'm like, great. I walk by the window and I take like a peek. Cameron is staring outside of the windows, like looking for me. He was running when I walked past them. Now he's walking and looking out the window and his girlfriend's running next to him, just like in her own world. And he's stressed. And then I walk to my car and I just start screaming. I'm like, oh my God. And mind you, when I walked past the windows, my treadmill is still on. Yeah, my treadmill, still going. <laughs> it's probably still going, and that was days ago. And I was like, are you kidding me? I was sitting in my car, I wanted to cry, cause I'm like, this is so annoying. I have to switch gyms now, because my ex, pretty much, who we ended on terrible terms, goes to my gym with his girl, cool. I'm like, I don't want to walk into the gym every day and feel paranoid that that was gonna happen again. And so then I called my mom and I was like crying and I'm like, what the fuck? And she was like, Sarah, do not switch gyms just because they're there. Like just do your own thing. And she was like, just don't go at night anymore. They probably go at night together. And that was the, what, second time you went at night? You didn't see them any other time and I'm like, Tea. She was like, if you have to go at night, go to a different location. I was like, you're so correct, mom. Ugh! Ooh! I'm like, Cameron, leave me alone! I'm trying to get away from you. He's everywhere I look. No, I'm kidding. But like, oh my God. It hurts already that he has a new girlfriend. I don't want to see it! <laughs> I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be around it. I don't want to... And listen, I'm healed, I'm healed. But when you see it in your face, that shit hurts, that shit stings. I felt like I was on like a sitcom. I was waiting for the camera crew to come out from the locker rooms and I was waiting to be asked for an interview in the back room to like talk about my experience. Like I felt like I was on a reality show. And I know he saw me, but also what if he didn't? What if he didn't even sit? No, that, that can't be true because I literally left the treadmill running. I said, oh, hell no, out loud, grabbed my phone and jumped off a treadmill. And then I walked out of the gym. We were like the only people in that gym. Wow. So that was fun. Good times, good times. I was so hysterical after talking to my mom being like, I'm switching gyms, I can't do this, I can't do this.
but I'm taking my mom's advice and I'm not gonna let this stop me. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, ugh, fuck. I don't know if you guys have gone through this shit, but if you have, let me know. I would like to hear your story so I feel a little bit better about myself. I didn't even do anything wrong. I, I don't feel bad about myself. I'm just so uncomfortable. I'm, I'm trying to like work through this and like get to a place where I don't give a fuck if they're there or not. You know what I mean? Cause who cares? I'm Sarah Baska, bitch. I'm cool, I'm funny, I'm sexy, I'm sweet, I'm silly. Whatever, so that's basically what happened. And I've just been thinking about it a lot. And thank you guys for listening because I feel a lot better now that I screamed at you guys. But that shit's so annoying! <sighs> I'm done trauma dumping for today, but see you guys next time. I'm gonna go home and take a bubble bath. And this coffee and egg McMuffin got me jazzed. I don't even know if I can relax in a bubble bath right now. Maybe I'll go to the gym. I actually might. I feel like I need to run this energy off. But yeah, love you guys. I hope you're having a great new year. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy. Okay, bye.